Hello everybody and welcome back to subsistence. Now what I've decided to do, I did a little fishing on the overnight there and got one small fish. But that'll keep us going throughout today. But what I've decided to do is to make these episodes kind of work because sometimes it's taken, you know, two or three hours to make one episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a couple of days just grinding, gathering materials. If I craft anything, I'll put you a little section in showing what I crafted. And then I'll bring you guys back when we have enough to actually do some cool stuff. And I'll do that for one episode, and then I'll have one episode where we just spend the whole day together going around, hitting trees, looting, talking you know and that way y'all get to see both parts of the game without having to sit here for four hours or me having to make a million cuts to show you every little loot crate I grab so for the next couple of in-game days I'm just gonna run around loot gather materials I'll cut in anything we craft or if we find like a locked crate or something I'll throw that in there if we can get a lock pick but that's kind of the plan for the series. And I will see you guys in a couple of in-game days. Alright guys, that was our first bear kill. It's a bit cheesy. But I come up here to get this copper and he noticed me. There wasn't a whole lot I could do. But hey, I won't turn down some free meat. Well, it wasn't free. It cost us uh, quite a few pistol bullets, but those aren't a, as hard to get, it doesn't seem like. And that got that bear away from our base right here for a little bit anyway. Now let's run over to the base. I already looted quite a few boxes close to the base. And I believe I have enough stuff to make the refinery and get that going. So let's do that real quick and then I'll get back to my looting. I also found a tomato seed, so let's, uh, I already put it up. There's the tomato seed. We're going to need electronics and scrap, and I made the boards we need. So let's get the refinery going. All right. Progress. We'll throw those tomatoes in. Uh, should I cook? I should probably cook that while I'm here and throw the fat in there otherwise it'll go bad before I come back so scrap metal we just we barely have enough to do anything uh, let's make a bunch of cordage that gets used for everything we did find a potato let's extract the seed let's throw that in here as well at least we're getting a few things in the garden there medium come on finish up steak I'm gonna keep the rabbit on us we just we don't need the meat yet but I'm kind of afraid if I leave them dead too long, we're going to lose the cloth. Maybe we ought to butcher them. Let's butcher them. Might as well cook them. 
The chicken I will leave. He's still alive, so he's not going to go bad yet. There we go. Now we got a steak with us. Have a little piece of rabbit with us here in just a second. Is this done? That is done. All right. Come on, rabbit. And there we go. We got our rabbit. Let's refill our fire since we're here. Let's set down the refinery. All right. Where are we going to put you? Let's just put you right here for now. Now we basically don't have any power. How much does this take? I won't show me unless I have something in there. The iron's what we're going to want to do the most. So we'll put that in there first. Takes point .50. We're only getting point .33. But it should go until it runs out and then restart itself throughout the day. Or I could, I'll just turn it off. We'll build power up throughout the day. I'll let it run at night when I'm here fishing or whatever. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys that. And I see another box out on the beach. I see a box over there. So I'm going to get back at it, fellas. And ladies. <gasps> oh my goodness. You guys see the locked crate up there, and I do not have any metal to make a lock pick. I believe that's about the same place it spawned last time. So I'm going to go back to the base and turn that refinery on. I doubt we'll get enough metal in time before it despawns. But we have got to carry a lock pick on us. We need those locked crates. So yeah, let me go turn that on and I'll get back to looting. If we get enough material for a lock pick, I'll bring you guys back while we craft it. And we'll see if it's still up here. Alright guys, we're back at the base for the night. It looks like a bear moved in right next to us. I guess to replace the one we killed. I still don't have enough to uh, make the lock pick. So. Oh well. I'm going to sit here through the night. Maybe do a little bit of fishing. Cook up food. All that good stuff. What do we got? Medicinal? No, that was cotton. Yes, we need cotton. Okay, well, I'm going to get everything going, and I will bring you guys back when something exciting happens. All right, guys, it took all night, but we got enough refined down to make a lock pick. We don't have the power for it. That's an interesting mechanic in this game is the power and mass. So we're going to have to wait for the power to build all the way up before we can make the lock pick. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make a new pickaxe. That will use most of my scrap, but I should find some scrap today, hopefully. And my pickaxe is almost broke. So let's make that. I'll put everything up and I'm going to get out there and get back at it. I really don't like that bear being right next to our base. There's not a whole lot I can do about it just yet.
Okra. We got a hunter after us. I was trying to dodge a bear and he decided to shoot me. Now I'm not really ready to fight a hunter out here in the open. Is he following? He doesn't appear to be following us. But yeah, uh, we may have a hunter base somewhere close to us if he's out here running around. Let's give this piggy a try and see what happens. Well, he comes over here. Uh, let's stick with the bow. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of, out of arrows. Got him. Used up a bunch of our ammo. But hey, we killed a pig. I hadn't did that before. What does he give us? Oh, pork chop, some fat, and some cloth. Not bad. And since we killed him in the water, we can wash our hands. so much crap on us too. <sighs> okay, where's our base? Oh, there's our body. I see it. That's close to our base. Alright, I guess uh, I'm going to keep you guys with me. We're going to loot our way back. Yeah, I was crafting all our foundations and stuff on us. I don't know how much we're going to lose of that stuff. We have no weapons with us. I hear a wolf or something. get a few crates on the way because I didn't get many crates that day I was mostly getting wood and, and crafting of course that was a ton of nails we used up if we lost our foundations how far are we dang where's our Where is our base at? Our base is right here. Why our BCU isn't showing up, I don't know. But yeah, that's going to be a long run. So unless something happens, I'll bring you guys back. Oh, now it shows our base. There he is. He's level two now. We're going to have to clear him out pretty soon. Dang it. Oh no, I was looking in the wrong inventory. Yeah, we still got most of our 
foundations, I think. One, two, three, four, five. No, we're short for sure. Oh well. Let's get back to our base. And we'll finish out the episode by building what we can. I was able to craft us a lock pick, but I left it in the BCU, luckily. Or at least I'm pretty sure I did. We'll know in a second. Yes, I left it in here. That's great. So let's... Oh, we lost our pistol. Alright, fair enough. So we'll have to make a pistol. We can craft one right now. Let's go ahead and do it. The other one was just about broke anyway. I was going to have to repair it, so... It'll be alright. It's not quite as bad as I thought. And that may be because we're still on easy mode. So maybe it, it didn't cost us as bad as it would if we were playing a harder level. Ooh, cotton plants. We need to plant those. Alright, well let, let's get to building. Is this stuff ready? Pick tomato. Pick medical herb. Pick medical herb. Oh yeah, that's good. I wanted to get rid of those. We definitely want to plant the cotton. Even though we need food. Um, what is this? Tomato. We'll plant another tomato. We'll probably eat the two that's in our inventory. Well, let's eat the apple first. Butcher our chickens. Get those going. Okay, okay. We'll we'll survive. I was a bit worried. I'm gonna wait till in the morning to build, and I'll bring you guys back. That way y'all can see what I'm doing. And that's how we're going to finish up this episode. Alright guys, it's bright and early in the morning. I see one box out there I'm going to grab and then we'll start the building. But you can't pass up a box when they deliver it to your door. Alright. Let's uh, pick this guy up first. Set him over out of the way here. Now we got foundations. the curved one I need to get up where I can see what I'm doing here we go it's gonna set in here the other curved ones gonna go over here foundations it's going the wrong direction I 
will not grab it from here. There we go. So I'd like to keep the boards as straight as I can. I know there's not much I can do with that. So that needs to rotate. stairs or something. I guess for now I can get down to the water right here to land fish and fill my canteen. But I'm going to have to start. I may go out one more row here and then start the little platform for fishing. So let's grab these little walls here. That'll give us a way to shoot at the hunters if they come over here bugging us since they live close. Oh, we are making progress, people. Oh, and it opens in, too. I'm so happy. Because I didn't check to see which way it opened. And I can't move it without another door frame, so. Now, we are going to have to hop just a little to jump on it right there. But now we're... Well, not protected from the sides or the back, really, but... I see a box. Let's go grab that thing. What is this? Onions. That's good because I had no pistol ammo. It's only a couple of shots, but at least it's worth carrying with us now. Are any of these ready? Pick onions. Uh, let's extract a seed and replant. And what I'm thinking is we kind of need that on the roof. But I'm going to have to make some stairs. Can I build any? I can. Which way do I want them to go? Kind of thinking right here in this corner up to there for now. So I believe that would be this set. So let's craft that and see if we can throw a little bit of stairs right here to get up on the roof. And I really got to start looking into uh, the power expanders, mass, you know, all the mass storage and all that stuff. Um, can I rotate? Yeah, I can rotate it like so. Yeah, I want it right there. That way I can come up and go up and we're going to set our plant bed up there and we need to start working on more plant beds as well because I could have several onion plants going right now if we had more plant beds Let's see what it shows for light now oh it looks like it glitched out a little bit 69. That's still not. Dude, you should have 100% light. 
my shadow ain't that big but yeah that's kind of where we're at um let's see if we can make a some windows can I make one oh that's great what about a regular wall where is the regular wall right here I can still only make one let's make one regular wall we'll put behind the stairs for now are we completely out of nails now yeah that was every bit of our nails so we are going to be done building for a little while I hate that it throws stuff out when it doesn't fit in the box but I mean if that's my biggest complaint so far on this game it's not a bad game oh I could shoot from here if I needed to I do need to there's so much I need to do <laughs> But as for now, I'm thinking like our our first floor, we're probably going to go one more out. And that's probably the one we'll put the curb on. We'll put another doorway just like this going out the back down to a platform as close to the water as we can get. So we can fill up our uh, containers and do our fishing. And, you know, once we get everything built, we're going to pretty everything up with railings and possibly balconies and stuff. And this we're going to turn into a second floor. We'll probably go one more higher. And the very top will be our greenhouse. So, I think that's going to work out. Now, let me look in here. what are we needing to build next we need another plant bed that doesn't require nails do I have I only have three cordage we've used just about all of it so we still need a, a couple more plant beds I wouldn't mind having three right now, maybe six or seven when we get done. We need power storage. That doesn't require... That doesn't require cordage, but I'm not even going to be able to use it without a generator. Mass storage, it's the same thing we're going to have to have. A mass fabricator or recycler to actually gain any so I'm guessing maybe the generator is what we need next let's see if we have the stuff I we'll have to make a few more planks what else did it require I'm so forgetful electronics Yeah, we can craft a generator. We probably won't use it a whole lot till we get the storage, but it will uh, give us the ability to gain some power if we need it through biofuel. So we definitely want to get that. It's like our fruits and vegetables are getting low. We'll eat one of those. Might as well eat the other one too. That didn't add a lot. It's a little bit better. Alright, craft it up. Now we're going to be short on scrap before we can get anything else. Alright, fair enough. Here's our generator. 
wonder if it'll fit under the stairs or close to under the stairs actually I could set it completely under the stairs I'll do for now and here you can put your biofuel in there and it'll fill it up we could go ahead and put some in there I don't have a ton but We'll fill it up, we just won't run it right now. But if you turn it on, it gives you plus one power. If you hit overdrive, you get plus two, but you're going to use three times as much fuel. So for now, we're just going to leave it off till we need power. And that'll help us gain power pretty quick. Also, once we build the power storage, like say we it'll add the maximum power we can have I think the base still only fills up to 500 so if we need a thousand power we're gonna have to run the generator to fill up the power storage so that's kinda where we're headed I wanna get that stuff going so that we can get to like the solar panels wind turbine ways to make extra power constantly large storage unit ooh I'd like that but alloy sheets I don't even know where to get crystal so yeah that's way down the list but yeah I want to get to some of these extra power sources it's gonna be a while because I have no way to make it ease of rope any of that yet so I guess the next few things we'll work on will be the plant bed power storage mass storage workbench maybe the recycler and mass fabricator mass fabricator converts power into mass so we might do it first and then the recycler when we get a little extra stuff I'd like to be able to run a fridge full time so we don't waste as much meat and I'd like to be able to run our refinery full time but anyways that's going to be it for this episode guys I'm going to step out here and take us a nice thumbnail of the front of our base that looks really nice and I will bring y'all back first thing the next in-game morning and let y'all run around with me for the whole day. And I will see you in the next episode.